Hi, I'm Marcus Warwick. I'm the co-founder of Omnio and we are bringing to market an ultra portable compact infant stroller. So I came up with the idea of well if we had a wearable stroller then it was we could take it with us anywhere and everywhere. We did some initial uh, very basic patent searches ourselves. We looked at what was already on the market in the shops. What we really valued about D2M was that they were very honest about whether they felt that we had a a viable idea to begin with. It's a full-size stroller which can fold down into a very compact size. The same harness is used for the toddler when they're in the stroller but also for the parent when they are wearing Omnio on their back. D2 have been really good that they've taken the time to explain very new concepts for me as an individual so I understand how things work. I had a, an idea in my head in what I wanted it to do but I didn't have the mechanical expertise and the manufacturing knowledge to make it happen. The thing that's really winning us all the innovation awards is the use of the Omni wheels on the stroller. We had a designer working on the project and he came into the meeting room one day and he said, have you ever considered an Omni wheel? And we said, an Omni what? What's an Omni wheel? This is a multi-directional wheel. So one of my pet hates with strollers was that when you try and push them in a straight line, particularly one-handed, a bit like a shopping trolley, they don't go in a straight line. And that's where the Omni Wheels has really helped with the manoeuvrability and the agile steering on the stroller. And it really is a breakthrough in the industry to use a wheel such as the Omni Wheel. For those that don't have a, a strong manufacturing background, it's still quite possible to bring a, a product to market. Certainly one of the things that attracted us to D2M at the beginning was the fact that they could take you from Design Brief right the way through to design for manufacture and manufacturing support. We found that D2M's costings were very transparent. They've been very flexible when we've suddenly thrown curveballs at them. Unit cost, where we're looking at individual components. The value that D2M added was around their expertise in understanding where we might put injection moulding holes, how we might save costs in terms of materials, but without compromising quality. Phil at D2M came out to China with us and we knew we were going out to meet uh, a potential manufacturing partner. One of the key things with China is that you, you have to have the business connections out there and really do that through a third party. Well, through D2M obviously the design support has been tremendous. There are a couple of areas of real innovation in the, the product. And we've worked very extensively with Wynne Jones in Cheltenham to make sure that we had all of the IP protected as well as having a prototype that was effectively ready for that IP process. I think one of the biggest challenges for us has actually been getting the investment and so from a personal point of view there have been some cases where we, we've had to take a bit of a leap of faith so we've done two rounds of crowdfunding. The first round was 179,000 and the second round was 440,000 pounds. D2M have also been very good at supporting us in actually meeting with a potential investor in the very early days. We've raised a lot of money uh, but we've got some fantastic shareholders that have been very supportive of the business from, from day one and continue to be supportive now. The international interest we've had for the product has been uh, amazing so it's, it's really good to see that coming to the stage right now we're about to commence volume sales. If you'd asked me um, have I got a good idea um, am I able to bring it to market? Do I have nearly three quarters of a million pounds to do it? I'd have said no, but four years later, here we are.